Welcome everybody to another edition of Transformers Reviews and today guys I wanted to start off by saying that uh, I wanted to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much. It means very much. I know that my channel is not very big but with all of you that have subscribed I just wanted to make sure that you know that I appreciate that very much that you, you wanted to listen to more content. And so in light of that, I am really delighted to go ahead and present these two guys. They came in the mail a couple days ago and the first chance I've gotten to kind of review them. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get on with the review. Okay guys, today we're actually going to be taking a look at Snarl and Alpha Trion. Now, beginning with just Alpha Trion, I'm not going to lie guys, this is basically just a reuse of the Vector Prime Pretender Shell. It's obviously not got as many paint uh, apps on it, but in its own right, it does enough to kind of differentiate it. Like, had I not really observed it, I would have not thought anything of it, but one of the, the, the key things as a dead giveaway is it even has the same barrel. Now, unlike Vector Primes, which had a nice little painted barrel and everything, this is just the molded plastic that it's the color in. But, you know what, I mean, even though it's that, I still like it. Uh, I don't dislike it. And, you know, it's okay to, in this instance, you know, because it gives you a different Prime Master, that's the only reason I'm, I'm giving it a pass. Speaking of, it's just your standard Pretender shell. And as you can see, Alpha Trion is not in there. But if we take a look at Alpha Trion's Prime Master here, you can kind of see that he's got his, his nice little face there and looks nothing like the cartoon version. But that's okay because Power of the Primes can actually break free of that. It has the liberty to. And you see there's his Prime symbol. So, And uh, anyway, moving on to Snarl himself. What can I say about it other than I, I love it. I'm not going to lie. This is, this is so cool to see this guy have his, uh, you know, modern day reinterpretation. Now, one thing that is, is funny is the tail. And the reason it does this is in transformation, this whole assembly uh, moves up to right about here and then it separates so that it can be uh, in its proper place for when he transforms in robot mode. However, during beast mode, though, it does put his tail down there. And as you can see, his legs, you have to get them just right to position. So the tail, if, if the legs do kind of slip, then the tail acts as kind of like a, a third leg, if well, or fifth, depending on how you look at it. But right now, it's got enough, it's, I've got the feet positioned correctly, so it's not touching the ground. But it, it does droop down really kind of at a, a weird angle. I wish it would come out a little bit more like a natural tail, like, like we've seen on other, um, other Stegosaurus Transformers. But I'm, you know what? I mean, it's just a minor complaint. Uh, you know, like I said, the legs, once you get them right, it doesn't even touch the ground. So, but overall, um, I mean, I don't have that many Stegosaurus Transformers anymore. And so to have Snarl here is, is just awesome. Now, the, he does come with his sword, which basically is just a clear plastic version of the one that came with Swoop. Now, if you'll notice, there's something a little funny here. There is one small alteration. It's this little deal. If you notice, it's not a round 5, five millimeter pickle, but it is the width of 5 millimeters. The reason for that being is you can actually plug it into the 5 millimeter pickle on the side if you want to attach it as storage. Um, also, uh, the only other place is over here on the complete opposite side, and that is for the Prime Armor. Which, unlike Ripper Snapper, I wish they would have found a better way to incorporate it, but given he is a Stegosaurus, it would have been hard to find a way for that to attach. I mean, these, these fins back here, uh, actually it's right here, these do fold down, so if they would have been able to find a way just to plug it in right up here, um, you know, some way, that would have been awesome. But, like I said, you know, I like my vehicles, um, I, I don't really, you know, I've always said I love the fact that, that they give us the option to store stuff, but the fact that it's not, to me, it just looks like it junks it up. So I'm never going to really store either of these on his side. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's compare him with the other Dinobot that came out, and that would be Sludge. Now, Sludge, 
I feel should have been bigger, but just because they had keep him in, in the same size class as Snarl, that's why he's not bigger. But other than that, guys, there's nothing else I can really say about Beast Mode. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy in Robot Mode. And my oh my, doesn't he look awesome. I gotta say, I really like this figure. Um, just the overall look, at, like, okay, so one thing that I did notice is he's got these, like, really short upper legs. And just due to the way he transforms, he has these really long lower legs. I don't care. That only helps add to the G1 look and feel that I'm getting from these Dinobots. He doesn't, even though all he, he comes with is a sword, he just, look how cool he is with just that. He doesn't even need a gun. But in case you did want to use one, you could go ahead and give him uh, Alpha Trion's gun mode here. And so if you go ahead and give him the blaster like this, I mean, even even like that, he looks cool. I mean, uh, so, I mean, it doesn't hurt it, and it's could because of him being a deluxe class, uh, especially a Dinobot, you expect these guys to be burly, so the scale works with the Dinobots, I feel a little bit better than some of the other uh, deluxe class figures. But say you didn't want to have him holding the gun, well, remember, he does have these 5 millimeter peg holes on his arm, so say you wanted to give him an arm cannon. And you know what? I mean, I don't think that looks totally ridiculous. I mean, it's going to slide around a little bit, but the, you know, if you get it just right, you can make it look kind of cool. So, and then of course, if you wanted to put, you know, your prime master in there or, wh or whatever. But I mean, you have options with this figure is what I'm trying to say. So, keeping that in mind, uh is, you know, if I'm going to rate it on a scale of uh 1 to 10, 10 being the best, uh, you know, I wish the only thing that doesn't make him a 10 is his beast mode. Because that lack of versatility that, that, you know, that Sludge has that he doesn't, that's the only thing that, as an overall figure, I think prevents him from being a 10. But he's high up there. He's like a 9.7. So, you know, if, if you're looking for a recommendation, I would definitely recommend picking this guy up. He's great. And the one thing is, is, is like the other Dinobots, if you don't want to use him as part of Volcanicus, you don't have to because he's a great figure as is. Now, I mean, you know, you have the option if you want to. That's cool. And, you know, uh, that brings me to my next point. If you guys want me to review Grimlock and Volcanicus like in the same video, give me feedback, guys, because for you guys, I will actually take Grimlock off of eBay, I will take him out of his package, and I will review him. But here's the thing, guys. I've told you in the past, I need feedback. I don't really get that much from you guys. And I know there's 63 of you that have subscribed. And like I said at the beginning, I appreciate you guys. I really do. But I would like to start hearing back from you guys. I need feedback to be like, hey, we want you to do this. And I know he's been out for a while, but... I haven't reviewed them yet. And if you like my style, guys, give me that feedback. Because if you don't, Kimball Slice, he'll come back and he'll put the hurt on you. Because he, he agrees that I need some feedback. I don't, I don't know where that came from, but you know, I just wanted to mention Kimball Slice for no reason. But seriously, guys, please start giving me feedback. I would really appreciate it. So, if you want to see this guy reviewed and Volcanicus in general, let me know and I would greatly appreciate it. Other than that, guys, this has been the Power of the Primes Snarl review. And until next time, we'll see you in another one.